Hey guys, what's going on? Mavericon here. So, like I said, I'm back again, uh, continuing my review for Craftopia. Uh, if you didn't catch the first one, go watch the first one so you can get a kind of an overview of it. Basically, it's just like a Minecraft dungeon hack slash everything you could almost expect from an uh, indie-ish game, I guess. Uh, so right now, it's like I told you in the first video, uh, we are in one of the dungeons. The dungeons are like super easy. I think I kind of over leveled for the first time I went through a dungeon. Uh, it's intended eventually to be a multiplayer game. It doesn't support it yet because again, it's an early access right now. So they're still putting the finishing touches on it. Uh, you got treasure chests in the dungeon. It's a classic dungeon experience for the most part. Uh, you got I think this one has three rooms total. First room, you had the little skeletons, uh, which I just went back to for some odd reason. Uh, second room, you have these lizard creatures that are a little bit more difficult than the skeletons. Uh, right now, I'm smashing stuff for items. So, classic Zelda thing. Smash everything you can. Find all the items you can. So, here we are. You got a lizard sword. Again, I don't think uh, the <laughs> translation on this game is quite there yet. I think they're doing the finishing touches on it, really. As long as you're just there for the fun of a uh, hack slash, I guess. Then, I mean, what does translation even matter? I, did, I haven't read a lot playing this game it's kind of just look at what items I need and uh, figure it out from there okay so this in every dungeon there's a big boss battle or whatever and this is the big boss in both dungeons on the first island that you go to I haven't done any dungeons on the other islands and up to this point right here in the game I hadn't been to any other island uh, the boss isn't really over leveled I guess you could say it took me my first time going through a dungeon it took me about uh, probably five to ten minutes to beat him but he wasn't doing a whole lot of damage this <laughs> I accidentally hit him with water but uh, the first time I played this I kind of got super lucky because I ran up and did like one of those oh crap one of those uh, jumping attacks and spliced down on him and I realized that hitting his core was the main, like, would do the most damage and made a lot of sense. It's like a big bright target and if you hit him you do like single digit damage whenever you're not hitting the blue orb. But again, it's super easy to solo these guys by yourself and then once you get the skill heal it makes it even easier as you can see down there heal is pretty useful again you got your own little skill tree it goes basics combat magic uh something about how houses i don't remember livability i don't remember i don't remember at all and then there's like the pumpkin thing again i can't really remember that one uh so once you beat the boss you come in here and it's like this big orange barrier you go up press e it opens and then there are like uh, five chests i think with really good items i got the sword i'm currently using from there and it does a good bit of damage highly recommend that for you guys uh if you decide to play it go hit the dungeon and grab some high level items it'll definitely help you out uh in the long run i think i got the bow that i'm currently using as well from there bears are always annoying so this is the item market like i said selling a bunch of wool is always really good it says time left until shipment way up at the top so just be aware that no matter if you're selling some stuff or a lot of stuff whatever uh every 20 minutes it ships out and then it restarts so it'll be like 20 minutes until your next shipment and then it'll just take a little while for you to uh, get coin if you're really looking for it. Also, you lose, I think, 10% of your money whenever you die in this game. I hadn't died up to that, this point in the game, luckily, so I had a decent amount of money. I haven't really had to use money other than for repairing items. Whenever you repair an item, so if it's on the hot bar, all you have to do is hold the hot key and it'll repair the item. It'll pop up a little wheel and the wheel will start spinning and it'll let you know. Or you can press tab click on the item and whenever you click on the item 
It'll have, uh, if it's a not a usable item, but like a weapon or something you can equip, it's really easy. You just go to the item that appears on the bottom right after you click it, then you click repair. It'll cost a certain amount of uh, money for you to repair it, and that's really the only thing that I've been using money on. I think some upgrades or jumps and jumps in time, as I would say, which you build an altar of time or something. And it requires certain items and maybe coins or something. I think up to this point, I'd only upgraded or uh, advanced through time, I guess you could say, once or twice so far. I don't know. It was taking me a little while to figure out the mechanics of this. So that's my house over there. It doesn't have a door. Uh, I think I'm actually about to do this now. Yeah, so I needed... Uh, that green thing which I have in one of these chests over here and then I needed to make a copper shield I believe so so I got everything progressed through the age age evolution so if you go I doubt I'm gonna go back into there so as you progress through uh, the ages you unlock more recipes and more uh, things as you can see renaissance industrial Right now we're in the frontier age, the next age would be renaissance and then that's what's going to open up to us. Uh, so as you can see requirements shows you up on the screen uh, once you enter in what you need to advance to the renaissance era. Again, it's a pretty decent game, pretty cool. Uh, this was my second video in a little series of me trying to explain through examples of why I think this game is interesting and why I think it's going to be really good whenever they finally work out like the little kinks I'm sure they are already on top of everything again it's going to be multiplayer so that's pretty exciting I guess anyway if you enjoyed the second uh, kind of spiel review walkthrough of this game uh, go ahead and leave a like subscribe and uh, let me know what you think if you tried out the game uh, again I recommend it if you got nothing to do over like a weekend or a couple weeks even. I'm sure you could probably, a lot of people are probably more creative than me. I kind of just put up four walls and uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, roof and called it my house. Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, as always, have a good day and uh, catch me on the third installment of this series. Bye.